Hi guys, today I'm going to talk you through how to get free money on Steam. So this is actually quite simple and 100% legit. This is not a scam or anything like that. It's actually done enti almost entirely through Steam's built-in interface. And it might seem a little bit too good to be true, but don't click off yet. Just hold on for one second and I'll explain how this works. So first off, Steam trading cards come with pretty much any game and they're only worth a few cents. But if you get enough of them, it can really add up. As you can see here, I have almost a hundred pages of sold uh, trading cards or other in-game items. And in fact, there's a way to generate, essentially, Steam trading cards. Now there is a limit to this. Each game will have between three to six trading cards you can get just through passively using the game, just through passively playing. And there's no way to get around that. That is the limit of the number of cards that you can get per game. However, to get those cards, it usually requires a good bit of actually playing the game. These cards sell usually for about a dozen or so cents. Some of them can get up to 20 cents, though. So, most people have a bunch of games in their Steam library that they don't have all the cards to. Well, I'm going to show you how to get all of those cards from your Steam uh, games and then sell them and get some free money on Steam. So, the first thing, there are a couple options here. This first program we're looking at here is called Idle Master. Uh, this is great just because of how easy it is to set up. You just click download now, enter in your Steam user information, login and stuff like that. Don't worry, it won't steal your Steam account or anything like that. And that's really it. You're done. Boom. It immediately, what it, this does, this program sends a signal to the Steam server that you are actively playing a game. And that will then cause cards to drop for that game. Very simple, very easy. Download program, run it, boom, you're done. A uh, couple things to be concerned with this. And another thing to note is that this is open source. So you know it's not doing anything shady like uh, mining bitcoins or uh, stealing your information or anything like that. So this is very easy to read, legit. I've never heard anything bad about this program, with one exception. Uh, you have to make sure that this program is not running when you play a VAC-enabled game. If you play a Steam Guard-enabled game, there is a chance that you could be banned from that game, as Steam detects this as running a third-party program that is interfering with your game, and just don't do it, you can get a game ban. So long as you avoid running it while running another game, no one has ever been banned. My personal choice, and a little bit more difficult, is called Archie Steam Farm. So this is the first link in the uh, download description down below. Uh, and it's very easy to use. It, it, it requires a little bit more proficiency than Idle Master. First thing you're going to do is you're going to download the uh, release uh, that you need to get. So this is going to be the second link down below. Uh, for me, I use Windows 64, so I downloaded this link right here. It's the Windows 64. Link, just choose whatever your operating system is. Download it, extract it, it comes in a zip file. Once you're done extracting it, you need to go to this next link in there. It's a web-based generator. So, here it is, it's config generator. What you're gonna do is you can name the bot, whatever you want, doesn't matter. You're gonna type in your Steam login, your Steam password, you're gonna hit enable. Then you hit download. What you do next is, so what I did was I extracted my uh, sorry, I extracted my game to a file on my desktop. And I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to place that bot file into the file titled config. So I just named it the bot, threw it in the config file, pretty much done. You're then going to run it, and it's going to ask for your uh, Steam Guard authentication. Once you supply it with that, you're done. And see, it is starting up right now. And right now, it is telling Steam that I am in, that I am playing Don't Starve Together. And I have one card remaining. It's going to take about a week for me to collect all the cards from my games. And I'm going to get about 400 cards, uh, which is going to be worth, oh, maybe uh, 10 or 15 bucks, 20 bucks. Not a whole lot, but that is going to be enough to buy me an indie game or two, you know, eventually. And this is basically a way for you to just get free money from Steam. Pretty awesome. Uh, so no one has ever been banned 
using this program. This program will automatically shut off if you start running another game on Steam. So if you start running a VAC enabled game, this program will shut off. There's no risk of it, get, of it getting your account banned. I have never heard of anyone getting their account banned because of this. Another thing to note is that this is another open source program. Uh, so you can see ex all of the uh, formatting, all of the code behind it. You can have confidence that they're not doing anything shady on your computer. All right, so as always, guys, thanks for watching.